Hello everybody, this is Rockhound, and welcome back to our Neverwinter Let's Play series. This is going to be episode 2. We just made it to Neverwinter. We fought our way through some dead guys and what is actually a tutorial. And I think this is just the, the very introduction still. Um, we just made it into the city. Uh, I leveled up to level 4. What did we, what did we get new? Uh, orb of... Position. Increase the duration of your control powers by 5%. Ice storm. Only smash wave. Unleash a massive wave of ice, knocking away enemies, leaving them briefly prone and adding chill. Yeah, that was a pretty awesome. General powers. Combat powers. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to work on, and I don't know... Like, I guess I haven't received any points to spend yet. I'm just getting stuff automatically as I make my way through things. But I think there should be a guy around here pretty soon that I can talk to to get some more quests and complete the, the first introductory quest. So these guys know there's some traders. And said you can hit M to go to map. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we've got the auction broker. That's what's closed down right now, so we can't go there. Uh... Coaster market? I don't know what that is. Professions vendor, trade bar merchant. What we really need to do is go ahead all the way up here and talk to this sergeant guy because at the level where the level we're at, it's um, really pointless to do anything except just keep grinding on some of these little basic levels. I haven't. Uh, I have not. I saw that one guy. Teleport through. I figured I better too. It's like uh, it's like when Harley drivers go past each other on the road. They they have to do some kind of signal to show the other guy that yeah we're both cool. So if I see a wizard do that, I'm gonna have to do that too. <laughs> I don't see that many other wizards in here. Let's keep an eye out and see what other kind of guys we see. Man, I want to zoom in. Can I zoom? I need to look at the controls game for this. Welcome to the Shrine of the Gods. Oh. Okay, I don't know what that is either. Brand new to the game. I'm like total newbie. Oh, what's our character's name? Let's let's re remind ourselves of that. Okay, y'all. Lucan Loreweaver. So if anybody like types something about Lucan, I'm gonna be completely clueless. <laughs> and and just assume that they're talking about somebody else because I never used that character name before. Get out of the fountain. Dang. What happens if I teleport off the edge? I oh, can't. Here we go. This is the uh, Sergeant Sergeant Knox, and I think he is the one we're gonna talk to. Protectors on play while. need your help. Wilfred is dead. Oh. Damnation! Too young to go out like that. <sighs> I want to thank you for what you did on the bridge. Boy, I might have lo okay. Give me some loot. It's mine. Give it to me. Plain crystal orb. Except, what do you? What? Oh no! How did you decline? Why would you decline anything? That's better than what I have. I'll just go ahead and decline. Okay. Um, plus damage, plus power. And there's power. What's power correspond to? See, they changed some of the old school um, Okay, power. Modified by items. Contribute to damage and healing bonus. Increase your damage at healing. This amount is modified on a per power basis. Okay. Critical strike, armor penetration. We don't have any of that stuff. Gear score 24. What is that? I guess that's just like that's your grade. <laughs> yeah, you've got 24%. Ability score history. Life on class 11. <laughs> what do we have a bonus for? Started out. 
We started out at uh, 20, I thought. Okay. Is there... Is there... That's our scroll of identification. Don't click to use. Let's check these shoes out. Plus two defense. There we go. A little bit better shoes. A little bit better weapon, and we need to be level five to open our little reward chest for the first time. Let's get our next quest going on. And try to get some stuff done. A lot of good people. Yes, I understand you lost quite a few of your belongings yeah. when the ship you were on was destroyed by the Dracolids. Fashion clothing. I yeah. can't offer you much. What a but I can supply you with some off duty clothing. I'm sure you're going to want to relax and get out of your combat gear at some point. Talk mm -hmm. to Supply Sergeant Queen. He's just west of here, through that tunnel. He'll get you sorted out. Hello, adventure. I'm so I heard about what happened. Hitting E to. Watch your fellow citizens. To interact with stuff. Thanks. I don't care about that at all. All right, now. Really cosmetic gear. I played what I haven't played an MMO in quite a while. The last one that I was really into was the uh, oh, Lag City. The last one that I got into was the um, Lord of the Rings Online. And I don't know how bad this one is about grinding stuff. Any MMO, you're gonna have some some amount of grind. But that one, that one I've got. Uh, was that something good? Something good. Um, You're back. Good. I'm back. I've got another resource about some disturbance. So this is the one I think. I, this is as far as I've gone. The guards are spread thin after the last attack. Guy. But you've I proven yourself more this. than capable. So I'd like to ask you to look into it for me. I've told the gate guards you're coming. They'll let you into the vault. Um, I think I made it through this quest and then had to stop. I'm with the other guy, and I wanted to start the new series. So this is. This is gonna be familiar, but then from there on out. Where is this? Is this way? Here we go. Anyway, Lord of the Rings Online is a, is a lot of fun. And I actually bought some of the stuff in that, which I, with these free to play games, um, just in case you're wondering, I really. You're the one Sergeant Knox had to investigate. Don't do the uh, well, the whole. Glad you're here. We've heard some strange The, the whole the buying the, the little one items the in the store to give you advanced. But he should have been back by An now. advancement on your experience and all that other stuff. But I'll let you through. Um, Find the source of those I noises. I don't know if this is He'll know what's happening. similar to the uh, to that game where you had to pay to get access to certain areas, but. Uh, that I don't have to I don't really have to click each time any meeny miny you boom and you're frozen and you're a magic missile anything good I want some some kind of Item. Pretty epic music. Yeah, so I was trying to get on here and play last night, and. Ooh, there's something. Thievery skill. So I'm gonna look for. I don't. What skill do I? I'll have some kind of arcane skill. I should be able to get some stuff. There's those little random loot things around. Okay, these are all recruits. I need the 
figure out how to use that better on these uh, quicker melee enemies. Oh, I forget. What was the other one I had that was supposed to be something cool? Don't get in between a bunch of guys, dude. It's not smart. Powers. No? What was it? You. No? That wasn't any good. I thought there was something that talked more about some of this stuff. Just, yes, just one. What's this? Dungeoneer skill or kit. I wonder who has that. Oh. out. Equipped ragged robes. That's not bad at all. What's this? That's a garb. Boy, I'll cancel it just in case anybody wants to buy my peasant garb. I'm sure it's extremely rare. So, what's this? This is... Oh, treasure chest. And... Ah, okay, so you can... So you can get kits to let you interact with things as another class. So I guess you can get a thieving kit. back. That's cool. I want to make it through this quest in this. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Okay, let's pick. pick that guy. Let's, let's ray of frost. That's awesome. That's that's all. That's that's lots better than the uh, magic missile. I think chill strike's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the one I got. It doesn't do anything. It's just like a passive. Or maybe I can't use it yet. I know the. Um, I know the uh, the thief character, the rogue, didn't have. Uh, what's it, is it, do they call it a rogue in this or an actual? Um, he had a sneak skill that you couldn't use until you got to level ten. I bet that's what that is, or something. religion. Now there's got to be, I've, there's a lot of like little, there was a lot of little thief areas you think in this
rid of the little guys first. Yeah. Oh yeah, that wasn't bad. Resident? I'm sure I can use that for something. Alright. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you yet. Sorry. What's this? Ah, scroll. Hmm. Arcane skill. Okay, that's what I have. Let's see what we get. This is like crafting supplies. So that's cool. I'm sure we'll get into that very quickly. The Nasher snuck into the vaults during Belindra's attack on the city. They're here to steal the crown of Neverwinter! They almost got to it, but then they angered the dead resting in the lower vaults. They're fighting each other down there right now. I sealed them in behind the hidden entrance to the lower vaults. There's a secret switch in the bookcase on the back wall. Stop the Nashers before they get the crown! That's kind of nice that... Uh, you can, uh... You can kind of listen, activate the uh, whatever the next step is, and then go run around and listen to it. That's uh, that's a plus for all that the voice acting stuff. Okay, we should be good now, and we've got the uh, the big power move. Look at these guys, zombie runners. Killed all the Nashers for us. Zombies, one, two, three. Uh, anything? Oh, that's a thief one, right? I don't have that. All right, rudder, 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 rudder. I need a uh, fireball or some kind of area of effect. Spell. What's that? I should probably check. Let's check our stuff. Life steal. Oh, those are exactly the same. Power or life steal. Interesting. Probably stick with power. And that's only for rogues. Okay, so we don't have anything that we're waiting waiting on. And I'm still level four. I am hurt pretty bad though. Let's keep an eye on that. Just these guys as I can from a distance. Awesome. Dungeoneering skill. I wonder, yeah, I wonder what Dungeoneering, what class has that by default. I feel like I should be quiet in here for some reason. Okay. Magic focus. Treasure. Is that just. Let's see. Can I equip that? Is that just like money or something to sell or what? It just says treasure. I guess it's just worth a little bit. Then there's some. Some crafting stuff. Companions. Riches. Money. Zen. Glory. Hmm. All right. We're still noobs. This guy looks tough. Or the
Okay, perfect timing. I'm kind of uh, just tanking these guys, <laughs> which is not the best uh, strategy for a wizard. But uh, we're doing okay. I haven't done anything. It's this. What's really cool? What really kind of grabbed my attention about this uh, particular MMO is the, the whole foundry idea that you can build your own um, adventures or go on the uh, adventures that other people have created, which is smart on the uh, developer's part, A, because they've got people making free content for them, and, and B, it's just... Uh, really cool. It's going to be really cool to see what other people make. I have not, uh... I have not done any of that, obviously, considering I'm still totally a, uh, a noob. But, uh, what was that? Let's check that out. Uh, 28 to 35 damage. Plus 28 power, plus 9 critical strike. Heck yeah. This is getting dangerous. So as I as I go, my little orb that I'm using gets uh gets the little symbols around it, which I think makes, I mean, I think as you're casting, or maybe those are like the, uh, matching this one. the uh, the no mana bar give me some treasure anything good anything good just a bunch of crafting stuff that's fine I'm sure we'll be able to make some good stuff I wonder if you pick a uh, a profession Another religion one. If you look up next to... Okay, who do we... Yeah. Pretty tough, but now he's frozen. And... So, we got through that, no problem. Do I still have that? Uh, did I use up the kit that let me get this, is the question. No, I still have it. Got a little bit of something. A little iron ore. Okay, we'll take a right. I don't know how quick that, uh, the one that takes the, the build-up comes back after you cast it. And I think it's something to do with, uh, with killing more guys. But I'm not sure. Ooh! Little rest spot here. Perfect. I don't have to waste a potion. And we're good. It's nice and fast. I like that. Chamber. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, I completed this Get before, the now, then that the was it. Is waking up. So, these guys, this uh, punk rock chick and the little wormy dude, 
are stealing something there. Some guy is going to wake up. And that's him. And I bet he's... Oh. You're going to be frozen. I'm going to hit one. Ah, uh, yeah, that failed. <laughs> I like it. Can I, I need to... Does it do less damage if they're already frozen? That's what I don't know. Too bad with the dodge. I'm starting to get the thing in a little bit. <laughs> and I failed. Okay. You're too late. The crown belongs to the Nashers. I'm just trying to make some money here, lady. I'm not that stressed out about it. It's all right. Much. Ooh, a thievery kit. Cool. Keep that in mind that we have that later. And uh, what do we get? What do we get? Okay, so if I inspect the pedestal, pick up my stuff. Scavenger's belt. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Okay, cool. Anything else? Can I do anything else? I have to give you points, Cryptic, for uh, for not making us, at least so far, not making us wander around breaking pots. <laughs> and secret back way out of the dungeon gives a little bit of a time saver not bad I'm assuming this is a time saver yeah Alright, now we need to find... What are we looking for again? Okay, we just came out the exact same door we went in. That's nice. And we need to go to... What's this question mark down here? Is this... Alright. Protectors Enclave needs your help. That is pull to the vault so soon. 200 experience points. A little bit more copper. The Nashers have Honor. stolen the crown of Neverwinter from the vault, but we still have a chance to recover it. We just need to catch the two thieves who escaped and trace Lost where the Nashers are hiding the crown. Tavern we know that one of the thieves, a sly rogue called Honor Three, uses a ruined building near the Driftwood Tavern as her hideout. The Nashers will flee if they see me or my squad approach, but you might be able to corner her. Find out if Honor yeah, let's start a guild. What's this? Can we do something with this? Hall of Justice. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that good that was, but you get to get a little bit of an overview of the uh, area, I guess. And I think this is this another quest? Glad to see you. Glad to see you. You look exactly like the other guy, only fat. Could you do me a big favor? No. I'm a quartermaster for the city guard. It's too Our bad. barracks were damaged in the attack, so the officers are using the driftwood tower. Pick up supplies, move them from one place, bring them back I'm here. I'm supposed to be the first one. Yeah, I'll do it. For their planning meeting. But Lord Neverember just summoned me to go over some paperwork. 
Uh, Never ever hate it's not because you're too lazy. Could you pick up the supplies from the market and deliver them for me? Here's a list. Just keep heading south. Just <laughs> and I failed at heading south. Yeah. Look at this. Horse on fire. I want a horse. Oh, war horse. Nightmare. Borg. Eh. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, was that guy named Lucas too? That's not my name. <laughs> His name was Lucas. What's over here? Is this the uh oh ruined tunnels. Okay, this is the uh this is the main quest line, not that uh, the supplies quest. But I think we're out of time for this episode. So thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.